ഹായ് വെൽക്കം ടു മൈ ചാനൽ മാത്തമാറ്റിക്സ് മേഡ് ഈസി ബൈ മേരി എം ജെ ടുഡേ ഐ എം ഡിസ്കസിംഗ് ക്ലാസ് ലെവൻ ചാപ്റ്റർ തേർട്ടീൻ ലിമിറ്റ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഡെറിവേറ്റീവ്സ് ഇൻ ദ ലാസ്റ്റ് വീഡിയോ വി വർ ഡിസ്കസിംഗ് ഹൗ ടു ഫൈൻഡ് ഔട്ട് ദ ലിമിറ്റ് ഓഫ് എ ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ഹിയർ വി ആർ മൂവിംഗ് ഓൺ ടു എക്സിസ്റ്റൻസ് ഓഫ് എ ഫംഗ്ഷൻ എക്സിസ്റ്റൻസ് ഓഫ് എ ഫംഗ്ഷൻ വെൻ ഡു ദ ലിമിറ്റ് എക്സിസ്റ്റ് so as i have told in the last few videos uh, x tends to zero means it can either tend to zero from the left side or it can tends to zero from the right side so here we are uh, studying two new terms that is left hand limit left hand limit and right hand limit in short we write it as lhl and rhl so when it is tending from the left side to that point to uh, x here it is i am taking it as zero so when it is tending to left from left side to zero we call it as lhl and uh, from the right side the value of the function when it is tending to zero from the right side it is the rhl and how do we write lhl how to find out what is the left hand limit that is limit x tends to 0 minus what does this minus represent that minus shows that it is tending from the left side and a few values less than 0 there is 0.1 0.01 0.001 these all x tends to 0 minus it is tending to zero from the left side and rhl means it is tending to zero from the right side so what is the value of the function when is when x is tending to zero from the left side so limit x tends to zero minus f of x it is the lhl and rhl what is a rhl limit x tends to zero plus f of x it is called right hand limit and this plus represent that it is tending to zero from the right side so a few values less than 0 uh, is 0 minus it may be 0.1 or 0.01 or 0.001 0 plus means it is tending to zero plus means point uh, that is uh, here zero minus means it is less than zero less than zero means minus 0.01 or um, uh, minus 0.5 or minus 1 minus 2 etc and uh, x tends to 0 plus means 0.1 0.2 0.5 1 to etc positive values less than 0 means negative values okay so when does this limit exist when does the limit exist so in order the limit to exist this lhl and rhl should be equal then only we say that the limit exist so that is limit x tends to 0 f of x in order to get the value of this if limit x tends to 0 minus f of x and limit x tends to 0 plus f of x both are same then only limit x tends to 0 f of x exist so lhl equal to rhl means limit x tends to 0 minus f of x is equal to limit x tends to 0 plus f of x so in general here i gave one value that is 0 if it is some other value that is in general we can write it as a so if limit x tends to a minus f of x equal to limit x tends to a plus f of x then we can say that the limit exist so the limit exist only if lhl equal to rhl so how to find out this limit x tends to a minus f of x so in order to find out limit x tends to a minus f of x 
we can give a small a substitution there that is x tends to a minus means a few value few points less than a so is a a small value less than a that is let it be h is equal to 0.0001 which is approximately equal to 0 so a small value less than 1 for that i can take x is equal to a minus h so that means h is approximately equal to 0 so so that lhl can be written as limit h tends to 0 f of x that is f of a minus h so in order to find out what is limit x tends to a minus f of x we can give the substitution as x equal to a minus h so that the limit also will change and we can write it as limit h tends to 0 f of a minus h same way we can write what is rhl what will be rhl rhl means a few values greater than this small value h so i have to write uh, this x as here what substitution we have to give in the case of rhl we have to give a plus h because a few values greater than a so rhl we can find out by giving limit h tends to 0 f of a plus h so if these two are same then we can say that the limit exists so this is the way of finding out the left hand limit and right hand limit by substitution what is the substitution in order to find out the left hand limit give the substitution as x equal to a minus h to find out the right hand limit give the substitution as limit h tends to 0 f of a plus h so first uh, left hand limit x equal to a minus h and right hand limit x equal to a plus h is the substitution which we have to give okay so you understood how to find out uh, how to uh, find limit h tends x tends to a f of x so left hand limit right hand limit check whether both are same then the limit exists so i'll show you one example f of x equal to 1 if x less than or equal to 0 and 2 when x greater than 0 a function is given we have to find what is the limit what is limit x tends to 0 f of x so how to find out this see the graph if we are checking we can see the graph of this x axis y axis this is x axis and this is y axis x less than or equal to 0 x less than or equal to 0 means this is this side is x less than 0 this side is x greater than 0 so when x less than or equal to 0 the function is 1 so here it is 1 when x less than or equal to 0 equal to 0 means this point from here onwards the uh, function is 1 whereas uh, when x is greater than 0 then it is 2 when x is greater than 0 x is greater than 0 it is 2 means it is not equal to 0 it is greater than 0 so at the point 2 we have to uh, draw an image in a circle like this what is the reason there is no image at this point only when x greater than 0 it is having 2 so uh, here when x less than 0 it is 1 when x greater than 0 it is 2 so uh, directly we can write here because it is direct uh, direct question so limit x tends to 0 minus f of x means less than 0 means we have to take the value of the function as f of x so the answer is 1 when limit x tends to 0 plus f of x greater than 0 the function is 2 so it is a constant value there is no need of uh, doing it by giving substitution and all you can directly write so that we can write here lhl is not equal to rhl hence limit x tends to 0 f of x does not exist 
so that is a way of uh, finding out where uh, the limit of uh, function when x less than 0 or x greater than 0 so similar questions are there in 13.1 exercise that is still 20 second question we discussed in the last video now continuation of that is related to LHL and RHL so we are continuing exercise 13.1 Question number 23, find limit x tends to 0 f of x and limit x tends to 1 f of x where f of x equal to 2x plus 3 when x less than or equal to 0 and 3 into x plus 1 when x greater than 0. So we have to find what is limit x tends to 0 f of x. So first we will go for LHL and as we have discussed LHL is limit x tends to 0 minus f of x and function when x less than 0 is 2x plus 3 limit x tends to 0 minus 2x plus 3. So, what is the substitution we have to give here? We can give here x equal to 0 minus h for less than 0 and for RHL we can give x equal to 0 plus h. So, this is equal to limit h tends to 0. We have to change the limit also h tends to 0. 2 into 0 minus h plus 3 and that is equal to min limit I have to write uh, limit h tends to 0 till we are applying the limit minus 2h plus 3 and that is equal to 3 because if you are giving h equal to 0 this part becomes 0 only the answer will be 3 now same way we can find out what is RHL right hand limit that is limit x tends to 0 plus f of x which is equal to limit x tends to 0 plus f of x is when greater than 0 it is 3 into x plus 1 then give the substitution limit h tends to 0 3 into 0 plus h plus 1 and that is equal to when h tends to 0 it is 3 so here LHL and RHL are same since LHL equal to RHL then limit x tends to 0 f of x exists and it is equal to 3. In that same question one more question it is being asked limit x tends to 1 f of x. So limit x tends to 1 means it is always greater than 0 so only one particular function is there so directly we can give the uh, result that is limit x tends to 1 3 into x plus 1 if you are putting the value for x as 1 you are getting it as 3 into 2 that is equal to 6 now moving on to question number 24 find limit x tends to 1 f of x where f of x equal to x square minus 1 when x less than or equal to 0 minus x square minus 1 when x greater than 1. So in order to find limit x tends to 1 f of x we have to go for LHL. LHL is limit x tends to 1 minus f of x when x uh, it is not x tends less than or equal to 0 it is x less than or equal to 1. Then limit x tends to 1 minus means it is given as x square minus 1. Give the substitution what is the substitution we have to give it is x equal to 1 minus h. So limit h tends to 0 1 minus h whole square 
minus 1 and that is equal to so if you are giving 1 minus h here uh, h is tending to 0 so the answer what you are getting the answer answer is equal to here if you are putting 0 1 minus 1 that is 0 now what is the RHL RHL is limit extends to 1 plus f of x is minus x square minus 1 and that is equal to RHL means what is the substitution instead of x we have to give 1 plus h so here minus 1 plus h whole square minus 1 so if you are giving h as 0 we are getting minus 1 minus 1 which is equal to minus 2 so from these two you can see that LHL is not equal to RHL therefore limit of the function limit of given function does not exist now next one question number 25 evaluate limit x tends to 0 f of x where f of x equal to mod x by x when x not equal to 0 and equal to 0 when x equal to 0 so again starting with LHL LHL is limit x tends to 0 minus f of x so 0 minus f of x when x not equal to 0 that is when x less than 0 and greater than 0 that is the uh, meaning when x not equal to 0 so those two times we are getting it as a modulus of x by x itself so this is limit x tends to 0 minus mod x by x now we can go for substitution method that is limit so when it is uh, LHL when left hand limit limit h tends to 0 instead of x what is the substitution 0 minus h modulus 0 minus h by denominator also 0 minus h since here a uh, modulus sign is there modulus of minus h is h itself so limit h tends to 0 h by minus h that is equal to minus 1 then same way we can go for RHL right hand limit RHL is equal to limit x tends to 0 plus f of x and that is equal to limit x tends to 0 plus same function mod x by x but since it is RHL we can give the substitution limit h tends to 0 modulus 0 plus h divided by 0 plus h then so what you are getting here mod h is h by h which is equal to 1 so here also we can see that both are not same LHL is not equal to RHL therefore limit does not exist at x equal to 0 now next one is question number 26 find limit x tends to 0 f of x where f of x equal to x by mod x when x not equal to 0 then equal to 0 when equal x equal to 0 so we have to find limit x tends to 0 f of x for that first go for LHL LHL is limit x tends to 0 minus f of x f of x is x by mod x now we have to give the substitution limit so everything we are changing in terms of h h tends to 0 
0 minus h divided by modulus of 0 minus h and that is equal to minus h by h which is equal to minus 1 and what is RHL limit extends to 0 plus x by mod x and h tends to 0 0 plus h by mod 0 plus h which is equal to 1 therefore same way LHL is not equal to RHL therefore limit does not exist exist at x equal to 0 now next one find limit extends to 5 f of x where f of x equal to mod x minus 5 so start with LHL LHL is equal to limit extends to 5 minus f of x means mod x minus 5 then substitution method limit h tends to 0 mod 5 minus h minus 5 and that is equal to modulus of 5 minus h is 5 minus h itself 5 minus h minus 5 means it is um, minus h so uh, here you are getting limit h tends to 0 again if you are giving h tends to 0 here mod 5 that is 5 5 minus 5 which is equal to 0 then what about RHL RHL is equal to limit x tends to 5 plus mod x minus 5 then that is limit h tends to 0 substitution which you have to give us 5 plus h minus 5 and if you are giving h tends to 0 5 minus 5 again you are getting it as 0 so we are getting LHL and RHL are same so LHL is equal to RHL therefore limit exist at x equal to 5 and limit x tends to 0 f of x is equal to 0 now next one question number 28 suppose f of x equal to a plus bx when x less than 1 equal to 4 when x equal to 1 and b minus ax when x greater than 1 and if limit x tends to 1 f of x equal to f of 1 what are the possible values what are the possible values of a and b so it is given that limit x tends to 1 f of x equal to f of 1 that means the limit exist so limit exist so what is the meaning of limit exist means LHL is equal to RHL and LHL means limit x tends to 1 minus f of x is equal to limit x tends to 1 plus f of x is equal to f of 1 and it is given as f of 1 is given as 4 now what is limit x tends to 1 minus f of x it is uh, when less than 1 given here when x is less than 1 it is a plus bx so we can write here limit x tends to 1 minus a plus bx equal to limit x tends to 1 plus when greater than 1 b minus ax 
and it is equal to 4. Now according to our substitution method if limit extends to 1 minus a plus bx. So substitution if you are giving limit h tends to 0 a plus b into 1 minus h is equal to limit h tends to 0 here when it is x, x tends to 1 plus means b minus a into 1 plus h is equal to 4. Now if you are giving the value h tends to 0 here we are getting a plus b it is equal to 4 same way here if I am giving h as 0 we are getting b minus a that is also equal to 4. We can solve these equations and find what is a and b. So solving this if I am adding both the equation we are getting 2b is equal to 8 or b is equal to 4. If b equal to 4 then a equal to 0. It is asked to find out what are the possible values of a and b. So we got the values of a and b. Now next one question number 29. Let a1, a2, etc, a n be fixed real numbers and define a function f of x equal to x minus a1 into x minus a2 into etc x minus a n. What is limit x tends to a1 f of x for some a not equal to a1 a2 etc a n compute limit x tends to a f of x. So here the first question given here is first limit x tends to a1 f of x. f of x is given here directly. So given f of x is equal to x minus a1 into x minus a2 into etc x minus a n. So what is limit x tends to a1 into f of x. So limit x tends to a1 f of x means if you are giving x as a1 what happens that is a1 minus a1 then a1 minus a2 etc a1 minus a n. So here this is 0 so product of uh, 0 multiplied with any number is 0 itself so the answer is 0. Then what about the second sub question there limit x tends to a f of x what is limit x tends to a f of x so if you are giving x as a what happens a minus a1 a minus a2 etc a minus a n now question number 30 if f of x equal to mod x plus 1 when x less than 0 equal to 0 when equal x equal to 0 mod x minus 1 when x greater than 0 what values what values of a limit x tends to a f of x exist. Okay, so for what all values does this limit x tends to a f of x exist? So we know that f of x equal to mod x plus 1 when x less than 0. So when x less, less than 0 what happens to mod x? Mod x can be written as minus x when x less than 0 this here 
we have to write it as minus x when we are writing the function we can write this as f of x equal to minus x plus 1 when x less than 0 equal to 0 when x equal to 0 and when x greater than 0 mod x can be written as x itself x minus 1 when x greater than 0 so now we have to find out what is limit x tends to a means here it is at x tends to 0 so we have to find what is limit x tends to 0 f of x for that we have to go for LHL and RHL LHL is equal to limit x tends to 0 minus f of x when x less than 0 f of x is minus x plus 1 and it is equal to if you are giving x equal to 0 here the answer is 1 and RHL is equal to limit x tends to 0 plus when x greater than 0 function we have to take is x minus 1 when x equal to 0 the answer is minus 1 both are different you can see that LHL is not equal to RHL therefore limit x tends to 0 f of x does not exist now question number 31 if the function f of x satisfies limit x tends to 1 f of x minus 2 by x square minus 1 is equal to pi then evaluate limit x tends to 1 f of x so given that limit x tends to 1 f of x minus 2 by x square minus 1 is equal to pi so that means so since uh, limit for here numerator and denominator we can apply the limit for both so this can be written as limit x tends to 1 f of x minus 2 divided by limit x tends to 1 x square minus 1 is equal to pi or we can take this denominator to the other side that is limit x tends to 1 f of x minus 2 is equal to pi into limit x tends to 1 x square minus 1 and that is limit x tends to 1 f of x minus 2 is equal to pi into putting the value of x as 1 1 square minus 1 that is equal to pi into 0 or limit x tends to 1 f of x is equal to this is equal to 0 so limit x tends to 1 f of x equal to 2 now question number 32 if f of x equal to mx square plus n when x less than 0 nx plus m when 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 1 then nx cube plus m when x greater than 1 question is for what integers m and n does does limit x tends to 0 f of x and limit x tends to 1 f of x exist so here given function uh, when x less than 0 mx square plus n when x, uh, 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 1 function is nx plus m and when x greater than 1 it is nx cube plus m m and n are integers we have to find limit x tends to 0 f of x and limit x tends to 1 f of x 
So first we'll go for limit x tends to 0 f of x. In order to exist, we know that LHL should be equal to RHL. So uh, limit x tends to 0 minus f of x is equal to limit x tends to 0 plus f of x. Then so uh, what is that f of x there when x tends to 0 minus less than 0 means f of x is mx square plus n. So limit x tends to 0 minus mx square plus n is equal to limit x tends to 0 plus when greater than 0 nx plus m. So if you are giving the value for n here for sorry for x if you are giving x tends to 0 here we are getting it as n and if you are giving x equal to 0 here we are getting it as m. So uh, for limit x tends to 0 f of x to exist then we need m is equal to n is equal to m. So here we are getting n is equal to m this is the first equation. Also uh, limit x tends to 1 f of x also we have to find. So this we can here this we can write here as for limit x tends to 0 f of x to exist we need n is equal to m. Then second case also we have to find limit x tends to 1 minus f of x it is given as limit x tends to 1 plus f of x. So limit x tends to 1 minus f of x uh, is equal to limit x tends to 1 nx plus m. Uh, what is limit x tends to 1 minus 1 minus means it is less than 1 less than 1 means it is nx plus m. So nx plus m and that is equal to m. Same way limit x tends to 1 plus 1 plus f of x that is limit x tends to 1 plus greater than 1 means it is nx cube plus m nx cube plus m. If you are giving the value as n here uh, x equal to 1 here what you are getting it is n plus m. Here also it is not m if you are giving the value x as 1 what you will get there it is n plus m. So both these cases we are getting n plus m so what you can say the limit x tends to 1 minus f of x is equal to limit x tends to 1 plus f of x is equal to n plus m. Thus since both are equal limit exist. So limit x tends to 0 f of x exist for any integral value integral value of m and n for any values of m and n it uh, so if m and n values if you are giving you are getting it as same as equal whatever may be n and m both are limit x tends to 1 minus f of x and limit x tends to 1 plus f of x both are n plus m so for any values of n and m you will get the answer you will you can see that the limit exists when x tends to 1. So that's all in that exercise. Thank you for watching my video. Those who haven't subscribed, please like, share and subscribe and also click on the bell icon for more updates and notifications. Bye.